I'll bring you that story as 14 Ghanaians were successful in using the Ghana card as official travel documents. This follows the recognition of the Ghana card globally as an electronic passport that can be read and verified in all international civil aviation compliant borders. Emmanuel Samani was at the Kotoka International Airport when the first group of Ghanaians used the Ghana card for verification purposes. Now, Ghana's national identity card, the Ghana card, can now be used as an e-passport globally. Well, it follows the recognition of the Ghana card globally as an electronic passport that can be read and verified in all international civil aviation compliant borders. Well, with this, the Ghana card, as well as its future biometric equivalents, can be presented as the official documentation at all 197 ICAO compliance countries and 44,000 airports worldwide and board flights to Ghana. So we're here now at Terminal 3 of the Kotoka International Airport's arrival hall to ascertain uh, the number of Ghanaians who will be using the Ghana card as their passports and actually go through the process with them to know for a fact that indeed the Ghana card can be verifiable and be used for clearance. Okay, so we're, we're currently in one of the booths accepting the Ghana card and want to find out how different the process is if the individual is using the passport. So, madam, uh, please tell us, uh, this individual is using their Ghana card. How is it different from verifying the passports? So, um, so this process is for Ghanaians living abroad, but he has a Ghanaian passport, but usually it's for those who have foreign passports so that they can enter into Ghana without a visa. So we just use this and then we just accommodate them here. Okay. You, you are one of the first Ghanaians to use the Ghana card uh, to get into the country. Uh, tell us, how different is it from using the passport? Uh, I would say this one will be much easier because from where I'm coming from, we use the resident card for so many things. Even when you take the vaccine, your, your information is on the, the resident card and it's the same as a passport. So it's easy for you by not carrying a passport as a hard copy like this and then sending it to the airport and then those stuff. So I think it's, it's a good idea. I think the Ghana card is faster because I've been using the passport for a couple of trips. And then this looks like the fastest immigration um, time I've spent here. And I feel the Ghana card would actually benefit us because when you are out there and then your passport expires, now you have to deal with the, tra the trouble of, you know, um, um, what you call it, renewing your passport before you can travel. But this is the case. I have the Ghana card, which has a lot of years to expire, so I can just use access to my own country. So, For now, the first step is for Ghanaians traveling into Ghana. If we want to go further and use the Ghana card to travel to other jurisdictions, then, like we said in the communication, Ghana should have bilateral agreements with any other country that will want to have that kind of reciprocal card travel agreement with us. But for now, there's nothing in the offing. What we are doing now is to help Ghanaians come to Ghana on the Ghana card. Imano Samani, TV3 News, Kotoka International Airport, Accra.